Okay, I think I'm ready to actually share this with you guys. So, hello guys, my name is Alejandra. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. It's so nice to meet you. I hope that you like me enough to stick around. So today's video is going to be celebrate my dad for Father's Day. And yeah, so I'll just bring you guys along with what we're doing. Tino is being wild in the back. He literally jumped off the bed and flew 30 meters south. I'm gonna go ahead and get ready, but before I do, I want to show you guys the new ring that I got in honor of Tino. It just looks like the here, let me show you. Hold on. It looks like this, and I don't know if you can see, but it has a T on there for Tino, and I love it so much. All right, guys, I'm back with my coffee, and I feel so much better. Oh my goodness, guys, you do not even know the things that I've been doing to get to where I'm at right now. Ugh. I have been going non-stop. I saw this thing on TikTok where this girl does her eyeshadow in a different way. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy her. So I'm gonna be using this thing for my face just to moisturize and prime. So what this girl did is she grabs her concealer and she just puts it over her eyebrows. And I've never done this, okay? So if it turns out horrible, then I'm sorry, but um, so she puts her concealer over her eyebrows and then she just blends it, right? So we're gonna do that. So then after that, then she goes ahead and she fills in her eyebrows. Super bomb. Okay, so then after my eyebrows are done, I think I'm gonna go in with a little bit of some concealer. And I think I'm actually gonna do my eyeshadow today. So it's been super long long time but I'm finally done getting ready and so is everybody else as you can see my sister's in the back I'm here my other sister's there also I posted pictures on my Instagram of my dad for Father's Day and I already showed him like what I said you know because I don't know if you guys can relate but people are always like oh, why are you posting that instead of telling your own dad that, you know, because the dads don't have Facebook. So my parents don't have any social media, but before I post that, like, thing that's directed towards him, I did go ahead and show him, and he was just like, uh-huh. So that's just him saying, thank you, I love you, you know? Okay, so here's my outfit, guys. I'm just wearing this little shirt with some shorts sorry you can see my belly button i don't know how you guys celebrate birthdays mother's day father's day and stuff like that but in my family every for every birthday for like mother's day father's day and just like occasions like that we always buy a cake we always buy ice cream and we always eat um dinner together and open presents so that's literally what we do all the time i know not everybody celebrates birthdays or mother's day father's day whatever it may be but that's just how we do it so let me know in the comments down below how you guys do birthdays and stuff like that and if you guys are asking are you gonna do something for tino's birthday when he turns one of course you already know i think i have something planned and the next birthday that's coming is my mom's so it's my mom's birthday then my birthday then my little sister's birthday so 
yeah i'm about to be 22 guys what the heck i can't believe that time has gone by so fast and i'm about to be 22. i filmed a um styling like my i'm popular what no way i filmed a styling like my different aesthetics for you guys and then i came home and i was like girl that is not the move literally i don't know if i showed you or not but earlier i went to go pick up an ice cream my dad's cake and a card so i'm going to be showing you guys the card that i got for him for all of us sisters to sign um it says dad and then it says we might not always be able to put our feelings for you into words but we have no trouble with numbers and then right here it says team dad and then back here it says happy father's day from all of us so i thought this was really cute okay so i almost started crying because i wrote something here puppy sign it so yeah i didn't want to cry so I stopped myself right there because we are not about to get emotional up in the building. My little sister literally just signed her name on the card. Happy birthday! <laughs> she just wrote happy birthday on his Father's Day card! This is the part that I hate. The part where we wait to cut the cake so everybody can stop being full from the food. I hate this part. Because this part always makes everybody really sleepy after you eat. So I'm just chilling here on the couch. I'm just chilling here with my dog. His breath smells like graham crackers. <laughs> so your breath smell like graham crackers? No. It smell like 10 cans of bounce that ass. That's what it smell like. Bounce that ass? <laughs> Okay guys, so it is currently 7.30 right now. I think I've told you guys a lot, but where I'm from, the roads are terrible. And as much as I wish that I could take you guys cruising with me and jamming to music, I can't because the roads here are so terrible. And literally I tried and the camera about fell like 30 million times so since i can't do that i decided to park somewhere as you can see it's like nowhere there's a whole bunch of trees and stuff and um just kind of talk to you guys and spill my truth to you guys okay i think i'm ready to actually share this with you guys so i got accepted to my dream grad school it's the grad school that i wanted to go to i honestly didn't know if it was going to happen or not i didn't know whether to believe in myself or not and i think that just goes to show that if you want something and you work really hard for something anything is possible and i mean that in all aspects of your life i think it was a very big accomplishment of mine to get accepted and i'm so happy that i did i didn't make a public announcement and i didn't share it on my platforms because that's something that i wanted to keep to myself just my closest people around me knew and with the closest people around me knowing i felt like i was comfortable with that but now I believe that I'm comfortable with sharing it and telling you guys that two more years and I will officially be an SLP and that is so dear to my heart and I just want to tell you guys that you guys can do anything that you set your mind to just make sure that you work for it that you work hard something else that I want to talk to you guys about is that I think it's time to put ourselves first in all aspects of our lives and I think it's time that we start being confident in who we are and we start loving who we are just being happy with everything that we've been blessed with i've learned over the course of this quarantine thing i've been by myself a lot and i've been getting to know who i am and i've been um figuring out what works for me and what doesn't work for me now i know myself and now i feel like my priorities are straight. I know what I want with my life. I know what I need to do to get it. Obviously not everything, you know, like it's not all black and white, but in short, I know what I want and I know what I want to do. Know that you are worthy of so much and that 
we should not settle for anything, whatever it may be, whether it be the job that we're currently in, the relationship that we're currently in, the struggles that we're currently in. Oh, there's a truck coming and they are staring at me. Okay, give it two seconds. Cause I'm shy. And they're also parking beside me. Okay, cool. So, okay, they're revving their engine. So yeah, more of the story is love yourself for who you are. You are one of a kind. Believe that you are one of a kind and that you are meant for something great, for something bigger. Know that the Lord does not give you anything that you can't handle. All right, guys, so that is going to be it for today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed and I hope that you like spending this day with me and my family. Tino is passed out right here. So I think that I am going to end off the night jamming, driving around, cruising in my little old town. I will catch you guys soon. I love you all so very much. I'm sending you mwah, mwah, mwah. lots of kisses 